Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to another episode. My name is Magdalena, if you didn't already know. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see. And if you're interested in everything pet care and dog grooming. So today we are going to be working on Mavis, that little French bulldog you just saw right up to the camera. She is the cutest little thing. She's super sweet, really funny dog. So the reason why I wanted to go over French Bulldogs with everyone or Bulldogs in general is not only is she cute and is she a perfect specimen, but French Bulldogs or Bulldogs in general are not only known for their cute, wrinkly, squishy faces and tough guy stance, but also for their various number of health issues. Even though we're going to be focusing mostly on bulldogs today, I always recommend that when you are going out to get a companion or pet or thinking about it, please do your research, behavior, genetics, you know, potential health issues that could be a problem, your breeder, are they reliable, are they responsible, etc, etc. Know what you're getting yourself into before you go out and get a pet. So, as I was saying, Today we are going to be going into full detail on the home remedy her Superman father has created to keep her looking so gorgeous. So if you have a bulldog or plan on getting one, stay tuned. I will be going over all the products that I'm going to be using today and I will link everything down in the description below so that you can also purchase it if you are interested. Also, I wanted to mention this video is not sponsored. These products that I am using on her today were all handpicked by her father, of course. And if you want to help a girl out to get to sponsorship, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think. All right, everyone, so this is Mavis's shampoo. It's a chlorhexidine shampoo. It's really, really great. It's an antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, great to prevent yeast and fungal infections and to calm them down. This is great for sensitive skin, dogs with allergies. It also comes in a pad form, so you can use it in the ears in case your dog gets a lot of yeast infections from swimming or just genetics in general. So I just take a couple dime sized pieces, scrub it up, dub it in, and I also like to get in between the toes and stuff because sometimes dogs have stuff in there because it gets really dirty. So scrub that shampoo in, leave it on for like 10-15 minutes and repeat as necessary. Sometimes people do it once every couple of weeks, a couple times a week. I think it really depends on the sobriety of the dog's coat and skin. Sometimes if it's even worse than that, you'd probably have to go seek out veterinary care or help. And always avoid the eyes. Please avoid the eyes. If you get in the eyes, rinse it out with water. And if that's not helping, or just to be safe, if you have saline solution at home, I recommend flushing out the eyes. Saline solution for humans is perfectly fine to use on dogs. I can also link down in the description below the blueberry facial shampoo that we use on every single dog that comes into the salon. It is tearless. They can get it in their mouth, in their eyes, in their nose. They can eat it if they wanted to and it can come out the other side and they'd be okay.
Okay, so what I'm putting on Mavis here is called a happy hoodie. It prevents the blow dryer from going directly into the ears. It helps calm the dog from the blow dryer because it's so loud and noisy, and it protects your ears from the loud, noisy blow dryer. But it's really funny because I forgot Mavis is deaf and she's actually really good for this part. So I later in the video just took it off. Okay, this is Mavis's ear wash. It is by Wild Saint. It is organic, it soothes itchy and irritated ears, removes wax, debris, and buildup. And I like to squeeze some ear cleaner onto cotton rounds instead of cotton balls or Q-tips. I feel like Q-tips can get a little dangerous if you're at home with your dog. And cotton balls kind of just fall apart and they're not very durable. So cotton rounds it is. Just squeeze some on there and get all up in there. Um, obviously being careful and not going past the ear canal. Something that I thought was really nice about this product in particular is that it mentioned that it soothes irritated and itchy ears and that is because the first ingredient in this product is aloe and usually the first couple of ingredients that are listed on any product that you buy whether it's for yourself or your dog or food, chips, whatever the first ingredient is usually what the product is mostly made up of.
to the next couple of products, the Sustain eye drops that are okay for humans and dogs to relieve itchy eyes, dryness. Um, I know it helps with seasonal allergies in a lot of dogs. And then these Earth Balance eye wipes are really great for removing debris and eye boogies, sometimes tear staining if you're consistent about it. And I don't think I really had to use it after the bath. I think it's more for maintenance in between the bath after she eats to get all that extra gunk out of her face because it is really important to clean out these skin folds um, daily when you have a bulldog that has a lot of wrinkles and folds. What we're looking at here is Mavis's skin fold. It is very common with dogs with pushed in faces, bulldogs, pugs, shizus, chow chow, you name it. And it is very important that it gets cleaned out regularly to prevent yeast infections or phyoderma, which can cause hair loss, itchiness, odor, brown staining, which is common in a lot of dogs, the brown staining. But in order to prevent the things that I just mentioned, it's important to keep moisture to a minimum, wash with gentle cleansers, and use creams. And I will be getting into a wrinkle balm in just a moment. Okay, this beauty of a wrinkle balm is the Natural Dog Company Wrinkle Balm. It prevents yeast, bacterial infections, and skin fold dermatitis, treats sores, inflammations. It's really great. It, there's literally a dog with a pushed in face on the front of it. I personally like to take a Q-tip with some product on it and get it right into the skin fold. Sometimes I find my fingers are a little too fat to get in there or if the area is already irritated, it is a lot more comfortable to use a Q-tip instead of my thumb or my fingers. Another really great thing I noticed about this product as well is that it has avocado oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and shea butter. If you didn't know, vitamin E actually helps fight off infections, which is amazing and is exactly what we need in these skin folds.
that time, like you said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Check everyone. Give her a little piece. Put it in the jar. She was like, <laughs> hand the camera over to the tree. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> your dad not feed you? Does your father not feed you, Mavis? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I should have drooled off that one little piece.
Okay, so Mavis was being a little fussy for her nails and in this next clip you'll see me do a different method that her best friend Liz does on her. And her and I have a really good relationship, but this other woman that does her nails this way, her and Mavis are really like super duper tight, you know? So this didn't work out for me, unfortunately. She fought me all the way through it, but something I did notice is that when we got outside, the first thing she did was take a huge pee pee. And I wish I had caught on sooner, but she had only been here for about an hour, so it didn't really click in my head. But usually when dogs have to go to the bathroom that bad, they are usually pretty fussy about their grooming. And we usually catch on. Dun, 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 dun. The last and final product of the day is the Wild Saint Paw Therapy Cream. And this is really great. If you've heard of Musher Secret, this is basically the same thing. I don't know if Musher's is organic, but this product does the same thing. It protects the paws from you know, terrain, the elements, whether if the pavement is really hot or if there's ice or salt out there on the sidewalks, wherever you may live. This is really great to protect the paws and usually when it's really hot out, I only like to put it on the paw pads itself. I don't necessarily go in between the paw pads because dogs sweat out of their paws and by panting, they don't sweat like us or they'd be soaking wet all the time. But I like to just put it on top of the paw pads just because if I, I feel personally if I put the cream in between the pads, it might make them hotter. And then in the winter time, with the salt and the snow, I will go in between the pad and sometimes on the top of the foot, depending on if it's really, really gross and gunky and there's inches of snow outside. And this product is really great as well because it has sunflower oil, olive oil, and rosemary oil, which is actually a pain reliever. So if there are cuts and scrapes on the paw pad or dry skin that is cracking, this is a great product as well.
Okay, and that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope you found a new product that'll be helpful for you and your pet, make life easier and better. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye.